What is up my friends? Welcome to your 27th Ruby tutorial. Now in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about something called an array. Now arrays are basically just lists of items. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to create one real quick. Say you want to, to have a list of numbers or something. Go ahead and write the name just like a variable name. I'm going to call this array Boston. Why not? And now in square brackets go ahead and type in your list. Now in your array you can have a bunch of different things like numbers you can have like people's names string arrays but I'm just gonna go ahead and create a real simple list of numbers 3, 5, 7, uh, 98, and 321 now go ahead and hit enter and bam look at that your array is created so basically what you did was you created a list now this list is technically called the Boston array now let's go over a couple uh, vocabulary terms first because I don't want to confuse you guys so I want to clear things up. You know these items in the list which is 3, 5, 7, 98, 321. Whenever you're talking about arrays, the items in the list are actually called the elements. So technically if you were taking a test you would say that this array has five elements, 3, 5, 7, 98, and 321. Now, Clearly, like I said, this array has five elements, and in order to access each individual element, the first thing we need to do is find out their position or index. So just remember that. Whenever you're talking about arrays, and don't forget this for your test if you're in college or high school or something, inside an array, each of these things is called an element, and their position is called their index. So the last point I want to take note of for this tutorial is whenever you are working with arrays you don't start counting at position one like people do computers always start counting at zero so this one is at index zero this one is at index one two three four so now let me go ahead and uh, show you guys how to access this in order to access each individual element just go ahead and write the name of the array which is Boston and inside square brackets write the index number so let's go ahead and just write zero now hit enter and check it out it prints out three why does it print out three because the zero of index is the first index which is three so now let's go ahead and do another one like um, I don't know three and check it out can you guys guess what we're gonna get this is zero one two three so we should get 98 bam 98 right there so that is basically how to access the individual elements in an array basically just write the array name in the index right after it and this one goes from 0 to 4 now you can also do things other than printing it out for example if you wanted to change the value of one of the elements check it out go ahead and write the name just like you would whenever accessing a variable now let's change the um, value of this third one which is 0 1 2 so right now Boston 2 equals 7 see that but we want to change the value of it so let's just go ahead and assign it a new value just like we were changing the value of a variable so now instead of 7 let's give it a value of 66 so basically we're saying okay instead of having 7 at location number 2 we want to change that value to 66 now go ahead and hit enter and it says 66 now you can either just print out the array like this puts Boston and hit enter and it's going to go ahead and print out all your elements or you can just go ahead and type the name of the array in interactive Ruby now whenever you hit enter it gives it a kind of a neater format so as you can see instead of having 3, 5, 7, 98, 321 that second index is now changed to its new value which is 66 so that is basically how you create an array now remember the items in arrays are called elements and instead of positions they're called indexes and you always start counting with the number zero not one so there you go hopefully you guys understand a little bit more about arrays if you don't watch the video again but if you do you're ready to move on to the next tutorial where we're going to be talking about the cool things that you can do with arrays so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video